Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. Let's just jump right in, okay? I just feel like it. Let's do this. Ace of Swords to the Six of Swords. Some new information. This is victory for you, of course, but this is like important new information. Something that you've learned is helping you to move on in a situation to gain greater clarity than you've had before. And there's, you know, there might be travel involved. You might have learned something new. You've got a new opportunity here to try something new, to go in a different direction. You're being very objective about this, integrating this information into what you've already got, what you already know, okay? So this is interesting. Um, there's some difficulty here in this new beginning, all right? It's like you, you would like to be optimistic and have a good time in all of this, but there's there's this heavy burden weighing on you, this burden of responsibility here. It's kind of oppressive. You have a decision to make, but there's this lack of clarity. There's some doubts and fears about the direction that you're going in. Ace of Cups. So, you know, this could be a very beautiful, emotionally fulfilling situation, but I feel like it's not actually in with these other cards surrounding it. It indicates that there is something weighing heavily on your heart, disturbing your peace of mind, disturbing your emotional balance, the tranquility. It's, it's not there. Okay. Okay. But look, I think you're going to end up coming out on top in this situation. Yeah. With the emperor at the bottom of the deck here you you have a lot of power and authority in your life okay you are the decider you get to to make these choices you know you get to decide you can trust your own power in this situation you could also be dealing with an aries or like a younger fire sign aries leo sagittarius or somebody who's kind of immature in that way there could also be this invitation coming in for you this message about traveling, about leaving, about moving, something like this, an invitation to go out and do something. But you're, you've got a lot of responsibility here. You've got a lot on your shoulders and you don't see how you're going to make it through this or how you're going to make it work. You, you've got some decisions to make, but you want to prioritize your peace of mind, first of all, because there it does look like something about this revelation, whatever this information is that you've learned has disturbed the peace a little bit. It's, um, there's this imbalance in a relationship. It's trouble in a relationships, trouble with, um, not seeing things quite clearly. And I don't know, maybe there's this emotional renewal that's going to come for you. That's going to help lift this burden off of you to make you feel a whole lot better. Yeah, it's only a matter of time with this seven of pentacles that you get a handle on this situation, that you learn whatever it is that you need to learn from this, that you express yourself and, and make it very clear what it is that you want and need from this situation. And I think you're, you know, it looks like you're assessing what's happening here and you're working on it. You're working on building up your skills. You're working on whatever it is that you need to do with this information to move on and move forward and free yourself and to get free from, from whatever it is that's holding you back and to be completely open and honest about how you feel, what you need, who you are. Yeah, Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups. like, And being able to express yourself and have that emotional integrity to regain that balance and... It's like somebody could be apologizing to you, reconciliation, that sort of thing could come in for you. Um, this could be indicating a fear of failure in this situation, but you're not going to fail, actually. It's going to be great. It's going to turn out, I think, better than you expected. Um, just like in the last Virgo reading, I think it was all about things turning out better than you expected. But you're working on it. It's important for you to make sure that you are in a nurturing environment. That the, the place that you work or that you live or where you spend most of your time is conducive to the work that you're trying to get done. So that you can concentrate and 
and feel really good about what you're doing. So like if you need to rearrange the furniture a little bit to create a more nurturing environment, a more um, ergonomic or workable environment, if you need to clean out the clutter, you know, if things are just piling up, this is like clearing it out and making space for whatever it is that's coming in for you, making space for new love, for new ideas, for new work. Like you're really focused on building up your skills at this time and also analyzing what you're doing as you're doing it. Seven to the eight of pentacles. So some kind of emotional cycle comes full circle. This is really good for the people involved here, I think. I think you get that clarity that you need. Yeah, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, all right? It's like going through the motions, going through the process, overcoming whatever this challenge is, getting yourself free from this situation, being able to go in a new direction, maybe even to accept this invitation and um, gaining clarity, restoring your peace of mind, being able to make a decision to cut through the clouds and to have this sort of emotional renewal where you're going to feel a lot better. You'll have something to celebrate. You're getting on top of your work. You're, you're getting on top of the situation. Whatever it is that you're waiting for, you're working really hard to make that happen for yourself. Yeah, it's coming in faster than you think, but you have you have decisions that you need to make and I see you walking away from something. I don't know, maybe somebody wants to reconcile with you, but maybe you're just going towards a new love situation and you're a little bit nervous about it or you're just like flirting with this idea. I don't know what that could be for you, but if you are expressing yourself very clearly, doing your part to make yourself clear, I think it's up to the other person involved how they're going to respond. But at least you know that you've lived up to your end of the bargain and you can see how they want to um, handle it, you know. And whatever they decide to do is going to help you to make decisions about your future, you know, there's some of that back and forth I'm sensing here. But it's important that you do your part and at least you're showing up to the best of your ability. And I, I just feel like that's important for getting this, this burden off of your chest. You know, freeing yourself. Is there something that you need to say or do? Don't be afraid to speak your mind, of course. You know, if you've learned some information and you are studying this and you're integrating this and coming to a better understanding of something. Maybe it's weighing on you, but you decide to, you know, express this and do what you need to do with this information. You have a decision to make. It might be a difficult decision, but ultimately you become free from this burden and you have this emotional renewal where you're not feeling so stressed out anymore, where you can kind of relax and maybe even uh, celebrate with the people who are closest to you because you get a handle on the situation, because you trust your power, because you do have the power and the authority to figure out how this needs to happen, right? And then to do what needs to be done to take action, to take the lead in the situation. And I feel like you're doing it within the, the rules, like you're following the rules, but that's how you get a handle on it by like something to do with following the law you know you're not ignoring the law you're not trying to be above the law you you gain success somehow in this whatever the rules are whatever the laws are of the situation like the laws of physics you're not defying the rules you are not like overcoming them or denying them you're working within them and using them to your advantage the rules of this situation I don't know Assessing the situation, working really hard, playing by the rules, doing what needs to be done, gaining greater clarity on a situation that's had you feeling like you weren't sure what to do or what decisions to make or what direction to take and feeling a whole lot better with the outcome. Getting maybe the outcome that you want 
And even if it's not exactly what you wanted, it's, it's what you need in order to feel a lot better because you spoke your mind, you made yourself very clear and you were willing to travel, willing to walk away, willing to go towards whatever it is that you need and away from what's no longer in alignment with you. Getting a handle on the situation. Okay, Virgo, that's what I've got for you right now. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was of service to you. If you'd like a personal, I've got some uh, information in the description box below. But in any case, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.